Let's look at some of the things we can do with the spreadsheet once it's been created from a form. Or you can create a spreadsheet on your own. You don't have to use a form to create it. I want to create a data table to put into a presentation. So I'm going to first select the questions I want in it and I want to highlight. I want these two questions. What's your favorite type of music and your name? I want to put it into a chart. So I can either insert chart this way or go to insert and chart. Okay, now there are different types of charts and so you could pick a different chart if you wanted to. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I want to keep, simply keep it as a data table so I'm going to insert. I clicked on it once to activate it. Did you notice? A, see now I clicked off. If I click once it activates it brings up my arrow for my menu and I want to go ahead and I want to copy this chart. This chart's going to be copied to the web clipboard. So I can come to my PowerPoint presentation and click in and I'm going to edit and paste. Here's my web clipboard. I actually have made several copies of this as I practice so this is what I want. My chart. It's going to put it in there. and delete this if I want to. I could move it to its own sheet. So I could do some things to it. I could publish it. If I publish it, it's going to give it as a um, HTML embedding code and that will make it to be an interactive chart that I could put into some sort of HTML box. I could save it as an image. And here it is saved. So I could show it in the folder right here I've got it this is now on my um, I could put it into my H drive I believe okay they put it so different ways that I can use my charts and I can go back use my back button to go back to my Google Drive All right okay and here we are back at our Google Drive.